Hello Toots, then continuation part of this stop and wait protocol. In the first lecture of this stop and wait protocol, we seen that introduction part that uh, sender always have to send the only single packet and uh, he have to send the packet only after getting the acknowledgement for the previous packet. And uh, receiver side, receiver always have to give the acknowledgement uh, whenever he receive the packet. If he is busy, uh, make it make it uh, that packet to wait and then whenever he is uh, that busy is over means whenever he become free or idle so that uh, give the acknowledgement for that packet so this we have seen till now so here now problem is <coughs> here with these rules if you implement the stop and wait protocol if you implement this one on the land you are going to face some problems some major problems we are going to face so let us discuss those problems and then let us discuss solutions to correspondingly for those problems so in this lecture we are uh, exclusively discussing these problems and the solutions for this stop and wait protocol so let us see <coughs> so among this first problem here is suppose as we discussed it is sended some data packet this is the first problem we are going to discuss so assume that data packet is lost in between so whenever this data packet is lost after sending the sender receiver sender should not send the next packet because he didn't get the acknowledgement for this and the, from the receiver side whenever he receive the packet then only he is going to give the acknowledgement so status of this packet no one don't know so he is going to be wait infinite time in this case ok infinite time he is going to be wait sender so this is the problem with this implementation then second problem is so this we can say as last data packet problem this is last data packet case so in the second case in this second case here sender and receiver in this case assume that packet is received safely to the receiver but he is going to give the acknowledgement assume that that acknowledgement is lost if this acknowledgement is lost what will happen he is waiting for that acknowledgement of course receiver received this packet and he given an acknowledgement means his duty is over so acknowledgement is lost in between so that's why once again he is going to be wait infinite time ok this is the second problem in this then if you move to the third problem this is lost acknowledgement case so in this sender and receiver is here in the third case so in this third case suppose he sended data so he received and he given acknowledgement but this acknowledgement is too much delay ok means after sending the data he is going to get thing the acknowledgement after very long time means this is also not considerable in this in the network so that's why this is also one of the problem so this is delayed acknowledgement case so these are the problems if you implement the stop and wait protocol with the above rules whatever we discussed in earlier lecture with these rules if they implemented these are the problems we are going to be face so still we are not uh, we are not uh, 
discuss the stop and wait protocol completely so those are just uh, uh, some initial rules basing on that if you constructed you are going to face problems in this 